channel and if you're new what up so you guys i have my current empties for you guys and i'm going to be going through all of these products and telling you guys how i feel about them i have body care hygiene hair care products y'all know the works and i never include my makeup empties in this video because i always do a like grand makeup empties at the end of the year to show how much makeup i was able to get through in a year because makeup is typically harder to use than like body care and skincare and all of those types of products so just stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing like makeup empties i might actually start doing like a quarterly makeup empties where i show you guys how much makeup i was able to go through in like three months so you can kind of get like an updated version of my end of year makeup empties throughout the year um but we'll see we'll see about that because i actually should be filming that right now then if i'm gonna do that so um we'll see but i have my box and it's super super full this is one of the small bath and body works boxes it is super super full because i did throw away my little candle bags that you get from candle day but it's all good i'm gonna go through all of these products some of these things are from my project use it up i will be doing an update on that next week so stay tuned if you want to see what i use up from my project use it up but let's just get right into it because i do got a lot of things here so i have my watermelon mojito shower gel and this is actually from my project use it up but y'all had to know that i was going to use this up because look at where the line is there wasn't much of that shower gel left in there like it was literally like two showers and it was gone but i love watermelon mojito so this was watermelon soda pink rum cane sugar it was a very refreshing cool crisp watermelon rind type of scent it was juicy it was sweet but it was still very very fresh and refreshing in the shower so i did really enjoy it while i was using it and i have like this much left of the spray so that will be going in a couple of days as well i do really enjoy that fragrance and the reason why i wanted to get it out is because i do have a backup and i do have other watermelon scents in my collection so i can be without that one even though i did enjoy it the next shower gel is among the clouds also was in my project use it up again did not have much of this left i really did like using among the clouds i know a lot of people didn't really care for this scent it's wildberry skies and whipped vanilla clouds to me, it's just a very basic, generic type of very sweet candy-like scent. It does have a little bit of sour tartness as well. I like it in all the forms, though. I like it in the hand soap. I like it in the body care products. I like it in the candles. So I'm not opposed to Among the Clouds. Okay, so the next thing I have here is the OC Undaria Algae Body Oil. Now, I did just get this body oil. When was it? It was before I moved, for sure. So probably in, like, January or maybe it was December. But I had recently got this body oil and let me tell y'all, once I started using it, I could not stop. This was such an easy body oil to use because it's like the moment that it touched your skin, it absorbed. So I really did like this product. I felt like it was nourishing and hydrating for me, but it was just such an easy to throw on oil. You could wear it. Literally, I feel like any time of the year, whether it's super hot outside or super, super cold, it's going to moisturize you when it's winter time. And it's also going to be lightweight on the skin during warm weather. So I would definitely repurchase this body oil, but only on on a sale because if i'm not mistaken this body oil is like 50 something dollars and i would not pay that it's only five fluid ounces i would not pay that for a body oil because y'all know i run through my products like really quickly so 50 something dollars is not gonna cut it for me for a couple of months you know what i'm saying um the next thing i have here is the suave essentials wild cherry blossom body wash again in my project use it up but i did really enjoy this body wash for the springtime i said that this was such a pleasant scent to use it definitely gave me spring vibes it was very pretty and feminine floral type of scent and it just really was invigorating in the shower and it went really really nicely with the dove cherry chia products which i do have one of those bar soap packages in here that scent is beautiful as well like if you're really looking for something like girly and not too sweet not too candy like or anything like that like these are like more mature grown-up sweet type scent so i thought that they were perfect i really enjoyed them here is my victoria's secret sparkling creme body lotion i was obsessing over that scent for the entire winter once i got it in my possession i could not stop using it it was really really good it was supposed to be glistening coconut soft marshmallow to me it smelled like more of a tropical marshmallow coconut type of scent it was yummy um and then christmas cookies shower gel um i put this into my project because i was using it along with like my more gourmand fragrances that i felt like 
we're transitioning me from winter to spring so that's how that one got used up same with my um confetti cake pop body lotion so this one was getting used up again with my more gourmand fragrances that i wanted to hurry up and finish before we got like fully into spring and i started pulling out more of my like sweet floral dainty type of scents because this one is a little bit heavy in my opinion for like spring and summer but it was really really nice um i did mix and layer this with a lot of different things i am going to take this pump off and clean it off so i can start putting that pump on my other body lotions here's an eco tools makeup brush and makeup brush and sponge shampoo i always repurchase that like i literally just repurchased one of those i use that to clean my makeup sponge every single day whenever i do my makeup like every single time i do my makeup pretty much if i'm going to use a sponge i use that to clean my sponge so i have a fresh sponge ready to go every single time i do my makeup that's one thing i do not play about i am not going to reuse a dirty sponge like three four days in a row i'm just not doing it that's me though that's me this is an indigo dreams shower gel this is from my kids they finished this one it's bergamot water glowing amber and warm must they finished that really quickly because i actually had just purchased that for them in march i believe it was when, whenever i showed y'all that haul i had just purchased that for them and they ran through it so they be getting through their body care products fast too this soap oh i love this soap so much i'm glad i have another backup of this one but this is hip hop parade cotton tail cake pop and we finished this off just in time for easter so this one was delicious cake batter rainbow sprinkles and fluffy buttercream this was such a nice scent it definitely smelled like a cakey cake pop cake batter type of scent it was really good i really enjoyed that one this is the Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Strength Serum. This is the hair oil blend. I already repurchased this. Now, they did change the formula of this. So, this was the original formula. And the one that I repurchased is the newer formula. And people are saying that the newer formula doesn't work as well as the older one. I'm not sure. I've only used the newer formula like two or three times. So, I haven't gone through the whole bottle yet to be able to really see if it doesn't do anything. But this one... For sure, this one did a lot because I was using this on my hair as well as my kids' hair. And they've seen so much growth. I've seen so much growth. Like, they've started to get their hair done on a regular basis now. And even my hairstylist is like, their hair is just growing. It's flourishing. And that is because I oil their scalp with this, like, every other day. So, it really does work. And I'm excited to see if the, the newer version is going to work the same or not. Or if I'm going to have to find a new hair oil. The next thing I have here is the Dove Antibacterial Bar Soap. I have started back getting into using my antibacterial bar soaps because I'm back at work working outside. I'm back working out every day, like getting sweaty and dirty, doing a bunch of different, you know, like army things. So your girl has definitely been taking more showers and I've definitely been using my antibacterial soaps to make sure that I'm super clean, get all that bad bacteria off of my skin that causes odor because we're not trying to have that. So yeah, I've definitely been um, going through my bar soaps. Here is another Another one actually this is the dial antibacterial bar soap so definitely just expect to see a couple of those in my empties from now on here's the victoria's secret sparkling cream body spray all gone thoroughly enjoyed that scent while i was using it this is the lemon drop martini shower gel i wanted to go ahead and finish this off because i was using it with my lemon cake pop shower routine and now that i actually have a lemon cake pop scent from bath and body works i no longer need to use this one to create that type of scent so i went ahead and used this one up now i'm working on the body spray as well to get that one finished um i did finish off this amina fruit loop sugar polish i got this from tj maxx i really do enjoy their little sugar polishes they're like super cute they smell good and then they're easy to finish too because i do not like having scrubs in my shower for too long i feel like just from the heat and everything they start to get kind of like mushy and nasty so i don't like having uh scrubs in my shower for too long so i'm glad i was able to finish that one up quick this is the um, CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser for Normal Skin. This is one I would definitely repurchase. I love having uh, cleansers that have salicylic acid in them because I have oily skin and I don't like bumps. So that one is a really good one. This is a really good melting cleansing balm. This is the Sephora Algae Skin Balm. Um, this is basically their makeup remover. So this one has 99% ingredients from natural origin and it's unscented. So I did really enjoy that one because if I'm taking makeup off my face, I want something that's gonna be effective but gentle. And if it's a natural product, I prefer that. Here is my Strawberry Snowflakes full set. You guys would have seen this if you watched my Project Use It Up because this was in my Project Use It Up that I had started back when I was in Arizona. So the Fine Fragrance Mist is gone, the shower gel, and then the body lotion. I still have a 
body lotion i believe a body cream as well as a shower gel so i will enjoy that scent whenever i feel the craving for it this is a berry waffle cone shower gel i wanted to go ahead and use this up and i think i have berry waffle cone yes you can see the body cream right there i have that one in my project use it up to finish so i'll be working on that here is my among the clouds fine fragrance mist also from my project use it up you can see where the line was i ran through this scent because i'm telling y'all like i really really enjoyed this one this was the scent that i was wearing to go and work out in and i would get compliments and told that i smell really really nice because it literally just smelled like sour candy so this was really really nice for me to use um here's another cerave product this is the facial moisturizing lotion ultra lightweight pm i don't know how many times i have purchased this product but it's currently in my bathroom right now this is a product that i swear by it's a staple it's such a lightweight moisturizing cream so i like to put this on my skin at night before i go to bed and my skin just obviously feels hydrated but not overly so okay here is my valentino donna born in roma intense uh purse spray so i did go ahead and finish this off i kind of wanted to keep this cute little like holder or whatever but i don't know like if i can like decant something into here or not but i don't know we'll see so i might keep this around but i did go ahead and finish off that purse spray and then i did finish off two perfumes check me out like what so these are definitely going to go into my perfume empties bag because y'all know i like to keep track of my perfume empties as well so i did finally finish off my ariana grande cloud 2.0 this is the 100 ml bottle and i enjoyed every second of using this up i had no issues i think it's leaking i had no issues with using this up i really enjoyed this perfume and now i'm gonna start using the original that i have i have um a backup on standby of the original because i told you guys that i prefer the original over the 2.0 the 2.0 isn't bad and i would definitely repurchase that one or if somebody wanted to give it to me as a gift i would accept it i just prefer the original because i feel like the original is less musky so that's why i like that one but i finished it like listen i finished the whole 100 ml of that y'all know i love that fragrance cloud is just one of those fragrances that i feel like is a staple i will always need it in my collection and if i go through the original that i have right now that'll be my third bottle of cloud that i've gone through um this is my giorgio armani my way so i finally finished this it has a little tiny bit of liquid in there but i like to just keep a little bit of liquid in my perfumes in my empties just so i can revisit it if i ever wanted to but y'all know i wanted to finish this one because my juice had turned from pink to clear and while it still smelled the same still lasted the same on my skin like it it didn't really give me the vibes that it had gone off or anything i still wanted to finish it because for one this is like a generic perfume i don't think i would repurchase this maybe try out the intense version but i don't think i would repurchase the original so it was like i can let this go i can work on it and let it go and get it out of my collection okay then we have a hope winter peach marshmallow body scrub that i finished y'all know how i feel about that scent we ain't even got to talk about it i love her she loves me back i have backups of it over there okay and then i have in the stars shower gel i also have in the stars body cream that i want to get finished so gotta start working on that okay and then i have this nivea sensitive and radiant body wash with nourishing serum i would not repurchase this this did not really foam or lather in the shower and one thing i love about like shower gels in general is that they foam and lather a lot because it just makes me feel clean and it's fun and this one really didn't do that and i guess it's because it's so nourishing and it has like that oil formula it's supposed to be more of a thicker consistency on your body but because i don't have dry skin or anything like that i didn't really need this to be as nourishing as it was so for that reason i mm, i wouldn't repurchase this um I don't feel like it did a whole lot for my skin anyway so yeah i wouldn't repurchase that um and then i have this number seven pure retinol eye cream so i finished up this entire thing i am very big on using eye creams because i definitely saw a big difference from when i wasn't using the eye cream to when i started using one so i finished off this whole thing and i'm now using a new eye cream whenever i finish that one it's probably gonna take me months or even a whole year to finish that one but whenever i finish it i will definitely let y'all know how i like it um these are airwick plugins so i'm typically not one to buy like other versions of wallflower plugins the only ones i buy are the ones from bath and body works but let me tell y'all okay when i first came to look at this house with my realtor um she had these airwick plugins in and i was like the whole house from top to bottom smells amazing this house is three floors okay from top to bottom everything smelled amazing i was like yeah, I'm gonna start buying those. I'm gonna start buying those. So I mainly keep them on the first floor because 
that's the floor that everybody comes to and everybody has to smell when they first walk in the house. So I, that's why I only have two of them because I only plug in two in the downstairs area. But I will continue to repurchase those because I'm like, wow, they really make a big difference. And then for the rest of the floors, I use my actual wallflowers. So I have two car fragrance refills and they are both strawberry snowflakes because I told y'all I bought a bunch of these and I was obsessed with how it smells in my car. So it's currently in my car right now and I'm not mad at it. I love the way that my car smells whenever I turn on my AC. So um, I have two pocket bags here. So I have Life is Sweet Pink Bubblegum. This one smells so good. I remember I bought five of these. So y'all will see a couple more of these in my empties video. And then we have Strawberry Snowflakes because I was on a bench with this scent. I loved it in the wallflowers, in the body care, in everything because Strawberry Snowflakes, wallflower. I bet this is, oh no, we only have one. Okay, so this one is Blackberries and Basil. Really, really like this one. Um. This reminds me of the body care, the blackberries and basil body care. So it smells really good. I had that one in my bathroom actually, and it did really well in the bathroom. And then we have marshmallow fireside. And I believe I had this one in my garage to finish it up um, before spring came. So I wanted to just get this winter wallflower out, but marshmallow fireside is always a good one. I really do enjoy that one during the fall and winter. And with that being said, that is my empties video. That's everything that I had to show you guys. So y'all already know, like I said, I'm gonna be trying to get through a lot of my products because I'm trying to dwindle this whole collection down at least by half before it's time for me to move again. So, yeah, y'all will just be seeing a lot more empties from me, a lot more products used up. So I hope y'all enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.